Okay guys, we're back in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and work on the next piece. So I want to get the rest of the upper body done. So let's just import everything to do with the body itself. There we go. Cool. I think what we might do, just to save a bit of time as well, is um, import the rest of the upper body details. So we had the gloves, I believe. If I can find them. Got the boot size, da da da, the head. We have the upper accessories, which I do believe is what we want. And we have the gloves. So let's go ahead and drop all these in. Da da da. Take a while. There we go. Right, let's create a new file, uh, 1496 by 1496. And I'm going to add a black background and create a new layer. And I'm going to start off just by, well, let's see what we can do. I'm going to start off from this side because it's the easiest to get to. Let's see. So we have the ambient occlusion of the gloves. Let's just go ahead and uh, probably the best way to do this. Let's see if I can actually get it to paste in with all the transparency there. Now nah, they're in the wrong place, so that's rather annoying. Let's see if we can go paste special, paste in place. There we go. So that's going to save us having to add a background and all the other sort of stuff. So let's just remove the occlusion. Don't need that anymore. We have the cavity. Let's go ahead and go to edit paste special <clears throat> and paste in place got the bent normal maps select all and copy and it's control shift V to paste it in place Let's just close that control A control C control shift V so there we have the V colors. <clears throat> control A, Control C, Control Shift V. Let's get those in. Let's get the normals. Not that this is going to matter too much for this section. Control Shift V. Get the cavities. Control A, Control C, Control Shift V. Let's get the rest of the gloves in. It's going to take a little, definitely going to take a bit of organising, I think, but it should save some time in the long run. Good thing is, we don't have to do any editing for the body whatsoever, it's pretty much perfect. close head down. Right. So let's get these <clears throat> all organized. Let's see what we've got. We have let's just get all the bent normals onto the same layer. So right, let's turn everything off first of all so you can see what we've got. Okay, so we have the bent normals of the hands. I'm gonna move that up to the top here. We have the V colors. That's a normal map. That's a bent normal map, which we'll put at the top. Okay, so we have the V colors for the gloves. Let's pop them down the bottom. We have the uh, the occlusion for the gloves. I don't need those. So I'm just going to remove it. Got the cavity map for the gloves, that's fine. 
there's the bent normal map. So, in fact, I just want to organize these into different parts and I'll just put them in different folders. So, let's go ahead and figure out we have the normal maps of the body. So, I'm going to leave the normal maps there. We have a V color there for the body. That's the body. That's a cavity map. So, let's put cavity map up here. Ambient occlusion for the body. We're not going to use that. That looks like a cavity map. That would be a normal map. Let's uh, drop that there. That looks like a ambient occlusion, which I might use actually. And that's the V colors. So let's go ahead and create a DM folder. We have three elements there. We have all of the color maps. Um, don't think I'm going to use that. Let's get rid of it. Probably not going to use that either. Let's get rid of that. And that's. Da -da -da. Probably the only cavity map I'm going to use there. That's another cavity map. So create a new folder for cavity. Let's drop them in there. We have normal maps. Oops, don't want to create a new layer. I want to create a new folder. Name that normals. Drop that in there. And drop that in there. Looks like we're missing the normal maps for the gloves, so we need to get those in. That's a bent normal map. So that's a bent normal map for everything. Let's just get our glove normal maps in. These are going to require a bit of fixing up if I remember correctly. So control A, control C. Go in here and we'll do control shift V. There we go. Alrighty, so we have accessories. We have, let's oh, have that wrong, not that it matters too much, but we have the body and we have the gloves. And here we have. Gloves. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's the accessories. Let's turn the normal maps off. Let's put them in a similar order at least. And body. There we go. And finally, cavity. Body. And gloves. Body. Accessories and gloves. Brilliant. Okay. Righty ho. So these are a few of our bits and pieces. Let's go ahead and tidy up the uh, diffuse maps first of all. Obviously we didn't really get a whole lot projected onto these sections here and um, they're pretty screwed up. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to get a metal texture. So this metal texture, if just bring this over, um, yeah, something like this, fine I think. Let's just go ahead and drag this in. I only want to get a small section of it. I'm just going to select that and go Oops. Edit and copy. Just go to the glove normals. Just going to paste that in there. I'm going to stop moving everything around if I can. 
really need to recalibrate my pen display. So let's go ahead and pop that over the accessories. I'm going to create a, a clipping mask over the layer. And that's just going to allow me to stretch this over what we've got there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Stretch that over. And I think what I might do actually is release the clipping mask. And I'm just going to juicy opacity a little bit. And I'm just going to manually cut everything out. I'm just going to increase the size of this. Because I don't know where the UV shells are, because I haven't baked out a, uh, a UV layout map, so I can't really tell. So what I'm going to do is just come in here and put it all over this area where these accessories generally are. Delete the bits we don't need over the skin and such. And we're just going to let this texture bleed over the edge basically. So that'll make sure that any of the tiny little rivets and things actually have a texture on them. It's not going to be a brilliant texture, but to be honest, I don't think anyone's really going to notice. Might just adjust the brightness and contrast, or maybe even just the levels. Just make them darker. Add a bit more contrast to them. And there we go. That'll work. So, do we have anything else down here? We do have a few bits and pieces. So I'm actually just going to copy a section from this, paste it in, move it down, and then I'm just going to stretch this, control T, stretch this over there, and just tidy up the edge around the glove. Okay, so that should just about do it. We have our belt buckle. That's fine. Not sure what happened to our charms. Can't say I'm overly fussed to be honest, but we'll see if they show up anywhere else. So let's start working on this. What I want to do is um, enhance everything, same way as we did with the rest of the body. So with the cavity map, we're going to take cavity map here, I'm going to do copy that, turn off that layer, put it over the top of the body, do control shift V, and we're going to put it on multiply, and if I remember correctly, it was just at full strength, so I'm just going to open up the, the head, if I can find it, there we go, it looks like I need the working file for the head, so let's just open that. So for the head itself, we put the cavity mask over as multiplied at 100%, followed by 55% on the bent normal map. So we're going to mirror that, and we also change the color of the, uh, the cavity map to give a bit more of a red color to the shadows. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustment, Hue Saturation, Activate Colorize, and I believe the saturation was down to 10. So it just adds a tiny bit of red to it, press OK. And yeah, that looks looking fine. So let's go ahead and do the rest with the, the bent normal maps. So let's turn on the bent normal maps for the body. I'm going to go to the channels, and I believe it was the green channel that I chose last time. 
Yes, I believe it was. So I'm going to take the green channel, do select all, edit, copy, go over to oops, our untitled one, just going to close down that metal textures, don't need any more. And I'm going to put that over the top of the body and do paste. Oops, going to do uh, paste special and paste in place. We'll change this wherever it's gone. Uh, let's just turn that off. Activate the cavity map layer and then do paste in place there. And from here, we'll put it on multiply mode. We'll take that down to 55. Duplicate it, switch it over to soft image, uh, sorry, soft light. And there we go. So I can hold that nicer. Especially on the arms, that looks really quite good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the rest of the bits and pieces. Don't really need to worry about the accessories, there's not a whole lot to do, the details come out just fine. So let's go ahead and do the gloves. So let's grab the looks like we we did have some problems we need to fix on the gloves, so let's go down to the gloves layer. I'm just gonna go onto the clone brush and I'm gonna clone this detail over here so it completes it. Almost. So it's not quite so obvious it's screwed up. And I think the textures are okay here, they're a little bit overlapped, but it's going to be the normal maps that give us a problem. So these hands are okay the way they are, I think. Let's just do the palm on the other one. Just continue this over there. There we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. Nothing else that needs fixing. Let's go ahead and bring the cavity map in for the gloves. That's going to need fixing massively. So let's do the clone brush on here just to fix that up a bit. And we'll just use the paintbrush just to fill in, fill in the rest. Going to do the same here. Just going to use a dark grey just to cover up these artifacts here. We are going to lose some detail on the fingers, but it shouldn't be such such a drastic loss because the resolution isn't going to be quite so high on these anyway. It's going to be the normal maps that really show up problems anyway, so... So what I'm doing here is just sampling, just holding down Alt and clicking on a colour and filling, filling in any of the errors with that colour.
So again, I'm probably going to lose some detail here, but I don't think it's really going to be that noticeable. So we'll see. Let's just correct them the best we can. We're not going to be going into massive detail with these. But as long as no problems stand out as being really obvious, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Let's just finish this bit off. What's in this area? This is where there would be seams and gloves anyway, so it's it's gonna it's not gonna look too odd if things are a little bit messed up. Do what we can anyway. Alrighty, uh, gloves and everything done. Control A, Control C. Let's just go ahead and drop that over the top of the gloves. Control shift V. Set that to multiply. Let's get a bit more detail in there. See if we get some shadows and things. Which works quite nicely. Okay, so next we'll do the bent normal maps. So let's see how these work. So let's grab the glove bent normal maps, go to the channels, we'll grab green. We'll do Control A, Control C. Let's turn off the bent normals, head back to the gloves, and do Control Shift V. It's going to do multiply on there. Drag that down to 55. And duplicate that, and put soft light on. And the errors don't seem to cause any real issues. So. That's fine. I'm gonna. I can live with that. If it really turns out to be bad, we can always come in and edit again. We add some nice details to the gloves. So that's gonna be okay. So the last thing really is uh, the belt buckle. I think that's gonna be fine as it is. So let's go ahead and save out. Our, let's go to our final folder. Go to textures. And this is going to be upper body. Upper body underscore DM. Going to save that. Press OK. Take a little while to save. There we go. That's saved out. Let's go ahead and sort out the normal maps. Let's add a background here with the neutral normal map color. So add in a new layer and we'll go to our colors and we'll do 128 by 128, 255. Fill in the background. Now up here, because the normals are pretty screwed up, I think what we're going to end up doing is just painting over them with the background. So I'm going to create a new layer choose the neutral color and I'm just going to paint over these it's not necessary for these bits don't need a normal map to show that a round surface is round there's no other detail on it so no point doing that and this is the bit which needs some real tidy up so let's come in here and see if we can fix this up
try and get this as accurate as I can. Can be a little bit difficult. That's fixed up enough there. And what we'll do with this bit is get our brush and we'll manually just paint over it. Just sample the colors, paint that bit out. Such a small part, not really going to notice any problems there, but around these seams, I'd quite like the seams to show up. So let's see if we can emulate a few of them. Just going to use a smudge tool just to smudge it up a little bit, smooth it down and just paint in a little bit there. So these bits are going to be a major headache. What I'm actually going to do is just use the smudge brush and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to collapse this layer down onto the gloves layer. I'm going to duplicate the gloves and just in case and then I'm just going to smudge this out towards the edge. So it may stretch some of the detail that we have there, but it's not losing it, so there'll still be something. And there won't be quite so many harsh lines. We'll do that all the way around, where we've got these issues appearing. I'm going to lose some of our seams, but again, I can live with that. I just continue smudging this out. Mainly just to eliminate the hard line. The the change in the normal colour isn't going to affect it too much. Obviously it will, but when it's so gradual, it's not going to be such an obvious effect. Okay, let's just do the rest here. In fact, I'm just going to use a clone brush on this section. Just keep a bit of extra detail on there. There we go. Let's find out where else we need to do this. Down here, that's right on the edge, so that should be okay. Let's just smudge out this section a bit. Choose the right brush. I'll do. I'll just soften off this bit a bit as well. So what else we got to do? Let's uh, fix up these normals down here. That's going to be for the back of the the belt buckle, so that doesn't matter. Let's go to those accessories. Just fill that in. It's only going to be on the inside of the glove that, so it doesn't matter too much. But once again, just fix this side up too. Just use a clone stamp brush. And then smudge brush just to tidy it up a little bit more.
So I think possibly the gloves were one of the worst bakes we had. So the rest should be pretty easy from here on out. Okay. I'll do fine. Yeah, the belt buckle came out okay. Let's just use the clone brush over here, just so we don't lose any further detail. If we can use the clone brush, we might as well. And let's fix that a little bit. So remember here, we're just removing the harsh lines. We'll get a few sort of awkward surfaces, but as long as the transitions are smooth, then it shouldn't really appear too far out of place. I think that's it. So that's the glove normal maps done. The body normal maps are fine as they are. Let's go ahead and save that out. Do save, PNG, and, and we've got upper body, normal map, save, okay, let's wait for that to save out, so that's saved, let's just go ahead and uh, get our PSD file saved up, so we've got forge, upper body, that's all saved, and again let's just check it out in Unity, okay back in Unity, so we still have our model in here. Let's go ahead and select him. Let's right click down in our assets files, import a new asset. We'll import the upper body DM. We'll import the normal map. And let's just go ahead and set this up here. So we will be sampling this down later on, but for now, just for checking out how everything works, we just want it set at the highest resolution. Apply the changes there. Take a few seconds to re-import that. And once again, for the normal map, set the resolution. Make sure we have normal map selected in the texture type. Uh, uncheck create from grayscale. Turn the anisotropic level up and press apply. And from here, just double click on him. And we'll put this in the upper torso. We'll do bump to diffuse. And we'll do grab in the body, grab in the normal map, we'll change the main color over to white and you can see we have a tiny bit of a seam going on but most of that's going to be covered up by the apron so I'm quite happy with that, that's fine so overall that's looking pretty decent just going to try it with the specular so I'm going to actually select the upper body and I'm going to do alpha from grayscale on this and press apply and that's going to create an alpha channel using the grayscale of the texture I'm going to do that for the head as well apply on there because uh, what the bumped specular shader actually does is it uses a alpha channel um, in the diffuse map as uh, as a specular map or a gloss map, so it's going to turn that up, turn up the shininess, and do the same thing down here. You can see when we actually paint in our own speculars, everything's going to look pretty cool. I think again, some nice detail on the back. The normal maps stand up really well, and even down here in the elbows everything's looking good I'm really liking those tattoos as well so overall everything's starting to come together it's going to turn off the specular for now just because we don't need it because we don't have a specular map so it doesn't matter but we will be re-editing these and importing them the details on the gloves come out okay our charms have got a little bit messed up but uh, it's not too big a deal. That one's okay. Let's just see if we can fix those charms. So I'm just going to bring Photoshop back over. 
Here we go. I'm uh, just going to expand that out a bit. So let's have a look. Let's go into our diffuse map. Not quite sure where that charm will have been. So let's see if we can narrow that down. I think that's these two up here. So I'm just going to get the clone stamp brush and just going to clone out this area just in case I can't remember where I put the UV for it. I think it might be further down the bottom but I'm just going to expand this out just to cover a little bit more just in case. I think it might well have been down in this area because there was a curve of blackness on there so it's going to expand this out a bit further and then we're just going to save that PNG and save that over the upper body Let's save just, there we go pause it while that saves. Okay, that's all saved. So let's just save our PSD file. Come back to Unity. Just going to delete this texture from here. And I'm just going to re-import it. Make sure we've got the same options. We won't bother with the alpha from the grayscale this time because we will be painting our own speculus. Okay, so let's reassign the textures. We have the charms there. And we still have a bit of an issue with this one. Hmm. That's okay. Let's just go back in here. And we'll just expand this even further out. So possibly a bit further down this way by the gloves. I'm not quite sure where that bit ended, so it's got some texture already, so obviously it's got something in the right place. Don't want to bring these over too far though, otherwise we'll end up uh, getting metal on our skin, which we don't want. Okay, let's try that. Could of course just go and check the UVs and see where they are, but try us just this is gonna be a little bit quicker. So I'll have to load up max, put on a modifier, find out where it is. So I'd rather just paint over and just resave it. Let's just wait till that saves. Okay, let's just go ahead and re-import that back into Unity. Hmm, looks as though it might just be an issue with the mesh itself perhaps, the UVs. It's still a bit blurred, so obviously we were getting there with it. But uh, I think it might well just be up in this top corner. So let's see, let's take this out as far as we can. Fill in as much of a gap as we can with it. So this is a good argument for bait, for uh, rendering out a UV layout map. And I may well have to do that, I think. But the looks of things, it looks fairly similar to this point we have here. So I'm going to bring that out a bit further. And the same here as well. Bring it as close as we dare.
So I think that should do it. If it doesn't, then I guess I'll have to suck it up and you know, load up Max, find out where the UV shell actually is for it. But uh, hopefully that should do it. Just once again, save that as a PNG. Save our PST file. Head back to Unity, and this will be the last time I attempt it. So let's import new assets and bring these in. No, still got the same issue. Must just be a problem with the UV. That's okay. No worries. Might even be due to the normal map, actually, so. Let's switch this over to a just a normal diffuse. No, definitely caused by the texture. But that's okay. We'll uh, we'll figure that out a bit later on. It's not massively important. We may need to re-export the model anyway at some point. But let's go ahead and get the rest of him finished because we do have a bit of clipping on his apron, so we might need to move that out. Of course, this is a separate mesh, so we could just move that forward slightly, and that'd be fine. That will fix up any any loose bits and pieces afterwards. So, one thing I'd like to do is just see if we can actually uh, turn off the rendering for the apron, and see what the rest of the body looks like. So, you can do that just by selecting the apron itself, and where we have the mesh renderer, you can just check that button, or uncheck it rather, and we'll be able to see the rest of the body. This has come out quite well. The scar looks pretty decent. Even got his nipples in there. Sure he's glad about that. And the seam isn't too bad. It's uh, it's very fine. You can only really notice when you look at it, you can see there. Slight difference in the light, but it's more noticeable on the back, but when the apron's turned on, it's not too bad. So, let's just undo that and get the apron turned back on. And from here, we'll go onto the trousers and get those into place. Okay, so back in Photoshop, let's just close that PSD down. One thing I noticed on the uh, Unity model as well is that the belt buckle isn't correct, so we'll have to revisit that and see what we can do about it. Um, so for now, let's just get the rest of the, the textures done. So I'm just going to bring in the textures for the model. There we go. So let's do the trousers. We have the lower torso, that's going to be the trousers. Just get these in. There we go. Let's just organize these. So I'm just going to control shift and paste them in here. Control A, Control C, Control Shift V. There we go. So that's everything to do with the trousers. So we have a bent normal. We have the cavity. We have a standard normal. We have the AO, which I'm actually just going to get rid of because we're not going to use it. And we've got the V coals. Let's get the rest in. So we have the gloves, uh, not the gloves, sorry, the boots. Boots are up here somewhere. We have the boots. Let's just drop those in. So let's get the bent normals. Control A to select all. Control C and then Control Shift V in here. 
pop them over the top. Then we have the cavities. So control A, control C, control shift V. Put the cavity on over the top of that one. We have the standard normals. Drop them over the top of that normal layer. We have the occlusion, which we're not going to use, and we have the V colors. And we're going to drop them over the top there. Okay, so we need to sort out where the garbage is. Basically, the garbage is going to be anywhere around where the boots aren't. As remember, we baked this out in sort of two ways, two two sections. So, just going to select the boots themselves, and going to do Control Shift I to invert the selection. It's going to delete the garbage from the bent normal maps, and go down to our boot cavity mask. So that's deleted the garbage from there. Need to do the same with the normals. So do that, and do the same with the vertex colors and there we go alrighty so let's get these into folders so DM norm and cavity and bent normals just going to collapse these down as there's no no need to really keep them apart. Let's just make everything visible. Going to merge that down, merge that down, merge that down, and merge this down. Okay. So from here we will take what we need. Let's go to the channels. We'll take the green channel as we have been before. Do select all and edit copy. Go back to RGB mode, turn off the bent normals group, which we didn't actually put in. Let's just put them in their sections. There we go. And we're just going to paste that over the top in here. Going to get our cavity. Control A, Control C down to above the V calls, control shift V. Just going to turn off that layer for now. Turn off the cavity. And from here, we just need to set that to multiply. And you see we've got these black sections. We don't want those at all. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to set to paintbrush and I'm going to select white. And I'm just going to fade this out. Our bent normals will be able to fix this up for us. So, it's alright to leave a bit of shading in there if you want. We just don't want any solid black. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put the bent normal map on. Going to put that into multiply mode. Going to take that down to around maybe 60% on there. Duplicate it. Switch the layer mode to soft light. And there we go. We have the belt. We have the top of the trousers. Might need to fix the belt up by the looks of things. But we'll see how that looks inside Unity because it might be okay. Let's just put a black layer underneath. So let's just check out our normals. The normals are nice and tidy, except for perhaps this section down here. So I'm just going to get the clone brush. I'm going to clone this section. And pop that there, which, if I get the right section, should 
gel quite nicely. Or maybe not. That'll do it. Alrighty, so let's just put a new layer underneath. We'll put a neutral normal map color in. So 128, 128, 255. Fill the background. Let's just get rid of the black on there. Should be alright. Okay. Let's go to File, Save As, PNG. Let's go to our final folder, Textures. And we'll just change that to Lower Body. Lower Body underscore NM. And just press OK on here. Wait for it to save. There we go. Let's just save up our PSD file as well. Save this lower torso and save that. There we go. Alrighty, let's see how that looks in Unity. And let's just get this texture imported. Oh, looks like we forgot to uh, save out the vehicles as a texture. I'll just go ahead and do that. Just bring Photoshop over here onto the other monitor. So let's get the vehicles and save as PNG and forge underscore lower torso underscore DM. Wait for that to save. There we go. Let's just get that imported into Unity. So, do have a bit of an issue there with his uh, with his belt buckle. Not quite sure what happened to that, but um, we'll see what we can do to fix it if we can. So let's just import the lower torso texture. We'll make sure that's set to texture, set it to trilinear filtering, and isotropic up to 9, and max size to 4096. Press apply. Go import new asset, and forge lower body normal map. Set it to a normal map, turn off create from grayscale, turn up an isotropic filtering, Put it at maximum resolution. And let's apply that to his lower torso. Set the background color to white. And let's put the set the shader to bumped diffuse. And drag the lower torso normal map in there. Okay, so overall, this looks nice and clean. Got a lot of detail in there. Quite happy with that. The belt's actually okay, we don't need to tweak it. Well within margin for error, so a little bit of an issue there behind, but not too fussed about that. Yeah, we could tweak it. But overall, we have our Viking blacksmith. So let's finish him off, let's get the apron and his tools done and that'll be largely it. Cool. Let's just uh, go back to our forge master, let's just turn on his apron. So I believe it might well be Remember how to actually get his uh, apron to reappear. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, his apron. It's going to be.
maybe there somewhere. So we can just re-import the model. <laughs> Can't remember how to do that. Let's just delete the model and import new asset. And we'll take our FBX from here and import. And we'll just drag in, uh, just set the scale factor to 1. I'll turn off import blend shapes and generate colliders. Uh, materials from models material and press apply and it'll jump right back in and unfortunately his apron's still not there what did I do with his apron? delete him from the scene and drop him back in there we go so need to scale him back up because I scaled him down earlier on uh, well scaled him up earlier on but now he's scaled down again but overall, this is our guy. It's looking pretty good. So, as I say, let's get everything else finished off. Okay. Let's just close these down. We don't need them anymore. Although, before I do that, I think I will just fix up this belt. Um, so, let's see if I can remember where it is. It looked like it's around about this area. So for the belt, I'm just going to get a dark colour from here. I'm going to go over to our just going to turn off these layers first of all, which affect the colour. And I'm just going to get the clone brush and just clone the texture all the way over here. So we shouldn't have any any texture from the trouser on the belt. Turn the opacity back up. So this will fix that little overlap of texture on the belt. I think it's this section here actually. Just to make sure, I'm just going to remove any bit that doesn't really belong there. So let's just go ahead and update that PNG file. Uh, we'll reload that in a little bit later on. Let's just save that out. There we go. Let's just save our PST file and close that down once it's done. There we go. And let's just go ahead and get the apron in this, the last bit we need to do. And then we'll figure out what's wrong with the belt buckle and the glove charms because that's actually annoying me a bit. Let's get all the apron. We'll need the hammer. And I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and drop those in Photoshop. That's great. So Let's just sort things out. I'm just going to create an empty file. Uh, 4096 by 4096. And set it to the background color, which will be black. No, it'll be white. Let's just do that. So we have the V calls. Let's just Control A, Control C, Control Shift V. Close those down. And let's see if we can get the V calls from the apron. Control A, Control C, Control Shift V. We have the occlusion, which we're not going to use. We have the normals. Control Shift A, Control, uh, sorry, Control A, Control C, Control Shift V. So that's the hammer normals. And let's get the apron normals. Control A, Control C. That's our other document. Control Shift V. 
we've got our cavity maps. We have our bent normals. Going to use the occlusion. That's our normal normals, and we need the bent normals from there. There we go. Okay, so we have all our bits and pieces. Let's just organize them. We don't have many things here, so I'm not going to bother naming the layers. If you want to be better organized than me, then go right ahead. We're going to end up uh, packing them down anyway eventually, so there we go. DM, cavity, bent, normal, there we are. So let's sort out the diffuse maps. A little bit of tidy up we need to do in this area. So I'm just going to uh, grab the clone brush and I'm just going to clone on a new layer. I'm just going to clone this area in just to get rid of that stretched, stretch kind of texture. Just going to leave that splodge there because it looks pretty decent. I'm then going to get the cavity map. I'm actually going to merge both of these down into one. And from here, I'm going to enhance this darkness that we have here just by getting a dark gray, popping that in here. So obviously, that's meant to be the inside of the pouch, so it's going to be quite dark. Unless it's got a light in there, which would be weird. Any other things we need to correct? These little problem areas here. There's no detail on the outside, so I'm just going to get white and get rid of these little black splodges. Going to harden up the edge of the brush as well. Actually, I might, might keep it a little bit softer. These are areas which don't have any detail, so I'm not overly fussed about them. It's literally just the the edge of the uh, of the apron, so. so it really doesn't matter. Okay, it's all fine on the rest of it. The hammer is looking fairly decent. Uh, I think I might leave that and we'll see how it comes out. So, let's just zoom out. Do Control A, Control C. We'll take that down to our diffuse mass, uh, diffuse map group. Control Shift V and paste it in. And we'll just turn on multiply. So, difference there, it adds in a lot of shadowed areas and a few of the creases and things like that. So, we can now see our text in there, which is actually quite nice. It's going to look quite cool with a specular map on, I think. And let's just close that. And let's get our bent normals into play. Turn on the bent normal layer, just going to merge these down, zoom in. Once again, just going to clone 
this area just to tidy it up. It's not going to make a world of difference. So let's go ahead and go to our channels. I'm going to choose the green channel, same as last time, as it has the light coming from above. So we're going to do Control A, Control C, jump back to our layers palette, turn off the bent normal maps, Control Shift V in our displacement map group, uh, sorry, our diffuse map group. Set that to multiply, I'll turn that down about 55, duplicate it, so it's a soft light. There we go, got a bit more shape in there now. So that should work quite nicely. Got a little bit of artifacting on the edges and the corners here. So probably the best way to fix that. Let's just turn off one of the layers for now. Set that to normal and increase the opacity. I think what I'm going to do here is just get this grey colour. And I'm just going to drag it along the edge. So it cleans up a bit of the garbage on this area as well. A lot of this area is okay, so it's fine. I just want to carry this along because at least then it'll be uniform. Let's clean up some of the jagged bits. Just fade that gradient back in there because I think that'd look pretty decent. And just do the tidy up around this section. So I don't think it's going to make a massive difference, but if we can tidy things up, we might as well. That's all right down here. What we'll do is we'll leave that as it is for now. We'll test it out, and if we get problems, we'll come come back and edit it. So let's set that back onto uh, soft light. We'll just delete that multiply layer. We'll duplicate our soft light layer. Set that to multiply. Take that down to uh, say about sixty. ish that'll do. Cool, quite happy with that. Let's go file, save as, PNG, and this is going to be the accessories, so there we go. So you'll notice that I haven't done the little tools and things yet. What I'm going to do is, um, when we go in and fix this belt buckle, I'm going to have a look at the UV map layout and I might actually just render out a UV map layout template and we should be able to see what where the problems have occurred and how to fix them as well so it'll be something useful for you to follow along with so I'm going to set this as um, forge accessories save okay and let's see what our guy looks like with a full set of textures. Okay, back in Unity. Let's head into our textures folder. Import a new asset. And let's get the rest of these textures in. So let's bring in the accessories uh, diffuse map. Also, just got to save out the normal map as well. Which 
we still need to fix up actually so I think I've just got a bit ahead of myself so let's do that let's just uh, bring Photoshop back in and we'll get the clone tool we'll go to our normal map section and we'll sample sample these bits let's paint that in Okay, that should be okay. Let's just smudge it a little bit. Let's grab the smudge brush. Okay, that'll do. And we'll see what the normals look like on the apron here. I think what I might do is just smudge these out a little bit. It's going to do Control Shift Alt and E. Oops. Let's just put a neutral normal map colour in the background again because I seem to have neglected to do that. Just getting a little excited as this is starting to come to an end now. There we go. And Control Shift Alt and E. I'll flatten everything down to that point. And we'll just smooth these out. So any areas that are going to cause trouble is going to be bits like this. Let's try and get rid of any blocky sections like this here. Let's, uh, smooth outwards. Smooth it together. So I think I'm just going to try it like this and see what happens. So I'm going to go and save that as the normal map. PNG underscore NM and save. Let's give that a chance to save. There we go. Let's just get that into Unity. Import new asset. Accessories normal map import. And Let's just set that as a normal map, turn off grayscale, trilinear, anisotropic, 4096, apply. Once that's done, do the same to the texture, 4096, trilinear, aniso all the way up. So we're going to have to go back into Max anyway, because we want to change the just the position of the apron itself a little bit because his chest is clipping through it and we also need to sort out that belt buckle but let's just see what it looks like all together so I'm going to do bunt specular set that to white set the specular to white drop the diffuse into the, the base texture box and put the normal into the normal box and turn the shininess up a bit. And there we go. So the normal maps on the edges are actually okay. There's no need to go over and you know, mess with them too much more. If you wanted to tidy up the edges you could, but I'm quite happy with the result of that. Let's go and sort out these UVs, put the finishing touches on everything. Let's put on to bump to diffuse, there we go. And then we can paint the specular maps on, which should be really easy to do. So, there we have it. Cool, okay, so join me in the next chapter, guys. We'll put the finishing touches on everything. We will 
uh, edit the UVs a little bit just to get everything looking a lot tidier. Um, we'll edit the position of the apron so it doesn't intersect and we'll just generally finalize everything. Um, the hammer looks pretty cool. I'm quite chuffed with that. Okay, so join me in the next chapter guys and we'll get this finished off and then we'll probably do one last chapter for a beauty render and we'll call it a day. So I'll see you guys in a bit.